Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to find a new city and new locations within the iPhone weather app. So first of all, obviously you're going to want to click on the weather app. Most of the time it's going to have where you actually are as your destination, like your city or wherever you're from, which should automatically come up. Uh, you usually have one of them, uh, so you're going to see it here, obviously the one you've got. But then to add a new city, you're going to want to look at the bottom right of the screen. It's got a three little lines with like buttons next to it. You don't want to click there, then it's going to bring up this menu. And then you see a little plus button uh, like in the black at the top right hand corner of that part. Then you're going to want to type in uh, whatever destination you want to do. So just for now, I'm going to do Sydney. Uh, so you can type in Sydney, and then you'll see like everyone's specific place you've got the Olympic Park, the airport. And I'm just going to do the city just for this example. So once you've done that, you've got the new city, and then you can click on uh, the, the location. And then you're going to see this one pop up. And if you want to like go back to see the other uh, like location that you've already wanted as well, you can just scroll to the left, and then obviously you can scroll to the right depending. And then if you want to add more, you just go to the bottom right hand corner again, uh, click this again. Let's let's say we we'll just do Adelaide, and you can just type it in. You can see it there again. And then you can uh, click on that destination. You can go back and then click like this if you want to but just to the left uh, scroll to the left and to the right to go between all of them and to actually delete it as well uh, you can uh, go to the bottom right hand corner as well then you want to slide it to the left uh, and then you're going to click delete so it's pretty simple for each of them so you just slide it and then delete so that's how it's done then you can click back on the one you wanted so hopefully that covers everything so leave a like on the video if that did help you out subscribe for more videos like this Click on one of the other videos on screen for more how-to videos. But that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video.